In this video, I'll be building a Thinline Telecaster from a Solo Guitars TCK-69 DIY guitar kit. I streamed this live on my Twitch channel, so there might be some parts that are going to be all over the place, but bear with me for this video. I streamed this over the course of three days, so let's start with day one. So the first thing I did was I decided to drill the string ferrule holes, as this guitar didn't have any uh, pre-drilled. To achieve this, I used a 564th drill bit and a 516th drill bit. Normally you would use a drill press for drilling these holes, but I didn't have one. So instead I decided to use this handheld drill press instead to help me achieve that. I marked the string holes on the top of the guitar by lining up the Telecaster bridge to the guitar body and using a 516th drill bit to mark the hole. And then after that, I just started drilling. I used the drill press for most of it and then halfway through, I used the hand drill to drill the rest of the way through. After drilling all the holes, I sanded the guitar body with 220 grit sandpaper, wiped it down with a microfiber cloth, and I covered the F hole with some newspaper. After that, I started painting using a paper towel to spread the paint like a stain. I did about three coats for each side of the guitar, and I waited about five minutes for the paint to be dried to the touch before painting again. On day one, however, I only did the back of the guitar and some of the sides of the guitar. On day 2 of the guitar build, I ordered a pickguard and that finally arrived from AliExpress. And it's basically sort of like the same design as a Thinline Telecaster would have. And I decided to use that based on the suggestions from my chat. I also used masking tape to tape off the binding as best I could so that the paint wouldn't stick to it when I started painting the sides of the guitar. I started continuing off from yesterday with painting the sides of the guitar and finally finishing it. So because the pickguard had different screw holes, I had to fill the existing ones that were pre-drilled on the body. I used this by using a toothpick and some super glue. I filled in the hole using the toothpick and then I used the super glue to fill in the rest of the gaps. I then pre-positioned the new pickguard and the control plate. And after that, I used a screwdriver to punch a little hole into where the new screw holes would be. After that, I started drilling the new screw holes and I used a 564th drill bit. After checking that all the screw holes were correctly drilled, I then started to paint the front of the guitar. I then waited about 4 hours for the paint to dry and then I started finishing the guitar with some true oil. I applied 3 coats to each side of the guitar and I waited 30 minutes for every coat to dry. While I was waiting for the true oil to dry on the guitar body, I decided to work on the guitar neck. I used 220 grit sandpaper to sand down the headstock and the back of the neck. I used very thin classic wood stain, the colonial maple color, and I stained it to a satin finish. Next, I installed the string ferrules on the guitar. I placed the ferrule on top of the guitar and I used a rubber hammer to hit it down. The ferrules won't be straight, but that doesn't really matter because the length of the string will be the same anyways. Next, I had to file down part of the pick guard because the pick guard was sticking out of the neck pocket. After making sure the neck would fit, I unscrewed all the parts and I left the body and neck to dry for 24 hours. On day 3, before streaming, I decided to add aluminum foil shielding to the cavities of the guitar. I used a video by Guns and Guitars, and the video will be in the description below. Next, I soldered all of the parts to the guitar and to the switch, but unfortunately, I burned the contact pins on the switch, and as a result, I had to order a new one. The new switch that I ordered came with metal tabs instead of copper pads, which made it easier to solder. So anyway, here's me soldering. Here's the, pit. here's the solder layout for the old switch, and here's the solder layout for the newer one. Note that the left one is the 7 pin, and the right one is an 8 pin. The red wire is the bridge pickup, the white wire is the neck pickup, and the black wire is the output. On the 7 pin switch, the output is in the middle. 
And finally, after assembling all the parts of the guitar, the bridge, the control plate, and the pick guard, I then assemble the tuners, attach the neck, the string retainers, string up the instrument, set my action and intonation, and it was finally time to test out the instrument. All right, for this tone demo, I'm gonna be plugging in my Telecaster into a Flama FX100 multi-effects processor. And through the multi-effects processor, I'm gonna be plugging it into a Yamaha Steinberg CL1 audio interface. Alright, so I'm a month late uploading this video. I built the guitar in the end of June, I believe, and now it's July 27th. So, yeah, but I have a month to break this in now, so here are my final thoughts on this guitar. The neck is quite straight out of the box. I didn't have to do any adjustment to the truss rod, and the fret ends are quite nice. I don't feel anything sharp when I move up and down the neck. And the finish on this that I did is quite nice as well. The satin finish is nice. The blue satin finish that I put on this guitar is quite nice. I would have put, I would have liked to put more coats of true oil, but three coats so far isn't bad. There are some blemishes here and there, but that's just me being a beginner. The bridge supplied by Solo Guitars is a Wilkinson bridge, and Adjusting the action and intonation was quite easy. Uh, the pickups are... They're quite good for the price, in my opinion. I forgot about these. The tuners. They're, they're tuners. They're, they're quite cheap. Um, they tune fine. There's no problems with it. So that's mostly it for this video. Uh, I'm not sure how to end it, but um, all the links to the parts will be in the description below. And uh, have a good rest of your day. Thank you for watching.